Yes, thank you, Fiona. Right, now for that item which is called Clive's Bin and Buy. And my first uh, guest is Margaret. What have you brought me? Well, this, I believe, is a genuine uh, mm -hmm. pen holder from the era of the Venerable Bead. Um, Do you? Yes, 6th or 7th century. It's been in the family for generations. Right, well, my trained eye spotted the words Lightwater Valley, written really quite clearly across the front here in modern English. And, uh, yes, that's uh, electroplated plastic, which cast doubt on the uh, age which you just mentioned. Um, fortunately, though, this is a quite a rare type of shell, and that gives it a certain amount of intrinsic value. I'd say that was worth perhaps £15. Pounds. Oh, wow. So you were lucky there. This other thing, I think, I believe, was from the Ming Dynasty. Brought and home from my great-grandfather, brought it home from China. Well, really? Well, I dare say that's because it says made in China along the bottom, again in modern English. Uh, I'm afraid it's um, completely worthless. <coughs> you got anything else? I'm not sure what this is at all. It just looked interesting when we're clearing ah. it out, you know. Right, well this is actually um, an old vessel that was used for storing distilled spirits, things like uh, whiskey would have been stored in something like this. Uh, I would imagine this is probably a Glenlivet bottle. Um, George Smith was the founder of the Glenlivet distillery and he lived between about 1792 and 1871. Um, not brilliantly valuable on its own, I'm afraid, but quite useful as a hip flask, so um, I think two pounds for that. Okay. And last but not least, I have really no idea what this is. I don't want to know. Right, <laughs> thank you very much, Margaret. And uh, next we have... Uh, it's Ernie, isn't it? Um, yes, the first item is what we found in the loft. Let's give it here. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, yes, I see lots of these. Um, this is made in Czechoslovakia. You've probably seen those Czechoslovakian cartoons, which uh, tell you something about the design. Um, it's actually an emblem for mm -hmm. a car. Yes, uh, the Skoda factory decided to make its mule range, and uh, owing to an appalling misprint, they uh, manufactured 30,000 of these. So it's uh, it's not rare, and it's certainly not beautiful. Got anything else? Yes, um, I have a China bathtub. Yes, do you uh, have, the, have the rest of it? Oh, uh, I noticed yes, that it's, yes, uh, it's um, broken. I believe that's why it's, it's a two-piece bath. Uh, but, yes, it's not a two-piece bath, is it? It's just broken, whoop. good grief. <laughs> And I have a, from an Arabic uh, town, um, one of my holidays, one, one year, and they were told me it was very valuable. Well, he was having you on. This is a worthless piece of tin, and it says seven shekels on it, so it's not on the uh, I believe that uh, was brought back from the Roman holiday, and I was told it was very valuable. It was quite right. ancient. Well, they were lying to you there. It's a zinc die cast, and it's got a mould mark on it. You could saw a tree down. Right, that's... Well, I'm afraid to show you this one. Well, um... I can imagine why it's utterly hideous. Ah, thank you. Um, right, well, this is uh, a cup, obviously, and it's probably masquerading as late Victorian, though I suspect it's a forgery. If we just have a look at the cross, cross section. Um, Oh no, no, I may have been wrong. Uh, that's actually quite a good bit of cross-section. Fortunately, these are only actually valuable in pairs. So, uh, get shot of that. Got anything else? I have, yes. Yeah. Ah. Well, I told you, they're only valuable in pairs. Right. Ah, now this is a bit more like it. Um, the style is quite, um, quite distinctive. This is a Vendel-style helmet. I possibly Scandinavian. I'll be looking for a maker's mark now. Oh, we have one. We are lucky. I can see, can you see here the words, Hluid me fake it? That's um, Latin, me fake it, made me. Hluid is a Romano-British name. So, you're pretty lucky there. A Romano-British helmet. Um, is it worth anything? Well, possibly. It is very ugly, though, and I don't really like to have ugly things on my show. Um, where did you get it? My grandfather used to work in the Hancock Museum, and he brought it to him one night. So it's stolen? No, it's not stolen. You borrowed it. Right. Well, I dare say the police will be interested. Uh, at the moment, I'll just store it in this <laughs> container down there. Where do they find these people? This is a Tupperware box. I've had quite a <laughs> Go and sit down. Right, that's all for Bin and Buy this week. Back to the studio.
You're bleeding, you're bleeding, mate. I couldn't hide the smirk when you brought that out. Yeah. 